Hi, in this video we will see how to debug the standard program and find the root cause of the error messages. And I will show how to debug. For example, sometimes when you are working on the projects, right, you will get uh, issues from the users or uh, your uh, business users that I got some error in the program. I am getting so and so error in the program. Could you please let me know what is the root cause of that error? Why I am getting that error? Right? How can you find that error? For example, let's assume this is the program. So don't confuse. Now we have only 21 lines. The process is same. Even you have 2000 lines of code. Okay. Clear. Now we need to debug, right? To find the root cause of that error. For example, user is executing the program. He is entering some data and executing it. He got some error, right? He wanted to know the root cause of that error. He, he, so when he executed the program, what he can see? Can he see the source code? Can he see the SC38 program? No, right? He can see only this selection screen. He cannot see our source code. Okay? Because we are going to provide him a transaction code, not the program name. So that he will execute the transaction code and this selection screen will display and you see this error and he requested you to find the root cause of this error. What you need to do now? You need to find from where this message is triggering, right? Correct? Since you have only few lines of code, you can easily find out, okay, this is the error. But let's assume there are 10,000 lines of code in the program. You don't know where to search. How can you find that error? I'll show you different approaches to find that error from where, from which line of code it is triggering. Double click on the error. Double click on the error. What it is displayed? Go to technical settings. This is the message class, right? This is the message class, right? And this is the error number. Correct. Yes, now copy this message class and error number is 04 and go to the source code since you are developer you have access to sc38 and you can open the program name and go to this binocular symbol with plus click on this and enter the message class and click on main program and click on search But you cannot find exact message number. Correct? It is showing where that message class is being used. But we don't know the exact number, right? You can search like this. You know the number also. That is 0004. You can find this. Right? Clear? You can search the message number and find from where it is triggering that and you can analyze the code. Okay, I am writing one select statement. If that material number is not available in Mara table, it is displaying the error. So that you will provide your analysis to the business user. Here you are entering the incorrect material number. That is why it is raising the error message. Since it is only few lines of code, we are, we are able to easily find this. Let's assume there are thousands of lines of code. At that time, you need to debug the program. Right? When you are debugging the, debugging the program, how can you reach to that exact point very easily? For that, keep a breakpoint in that selection screen. Now click on the program. Execute. Now execute. Now what my requirement? Let's say there are 10,000 lines of code. Do I need to debug one by one, line by line to find that exact message from where it is triggering? No, you don't need to do that. Go to breakpoints. Click on this breakpoint at. What you need to select? You have different options here. 
break point at specific subroutine break point at function module break point at method so when you click on break point at function module what it will expect it will accept here if you enter the function module name then it will directly take you to that function module call okay clear if you click on uh, uh, subroutine you can set a break point at specific subroutine okay so it will stop you, uh, the controller at that uh, specific subroutine now we need to stop at the message right here what you need to provide z demo sd message id as z demo id and what is the message number it is rising triple zero four right four what is the message type what is the message type error. is triggering error message type is e. e continue now i set the breakpoint at a specific message type now click on f8 what happened the controller is reached to that specific message zero, right? zero. where that message is rising so now you can observe the logic behind this message so i am selecting so and so program uh, data from uh, mara table so when there is no data it is rising this message and you can provide the analysis right clear is everyone clear on this now yes sir okay now since it is only few lines of code it is very easy for you to understand let's go to va02 Let's go to VA02 and go to the program, system, status, go to the program, it is a complex program right, it contains It contains many include programs. Each include program contains many lines of source code, right? It is a very complex program for VA02. Now, let's go to VA02 and select one sales order number. Click on enter. So these are all information messages please observe okay and uh, what i'll do i will enter some ship to party who is ship to party ship to party is customer right customer number right ship to party means you can find it in KNA1 table, all the valid customers. I'm entering some junk values here and uh, trying to save the sales order. What it is saying? What it is saying? Customer, this value, PKRJT, has not been created. So it is saying that this is not available. And if you want to see from which message classes is triggering, double click on this. It is triggering from go to technical settings message class is f2 message number is 153 right message class is f2 and message number is 153 correct now now how can you find what is the root cause of this message from where it is triggering when i am clicking on save this error uh, this error message is triggering so your business user or your uh, on-site lead will send you this screenshot see, screenshot of this, uh, of this VA02 transaction code and ask you to analyze why I am getting this error how can you do that ask for a test data first ask him the test data that what is the sales order number you are using 
in which system is it in test system or is it in production system for example if he is testing it in test system open va02 and enter the sales order number and uh, navigate to the screen and enter the ship to party whatever he is entering and click on enter it will display the error message right and find out what is the message what is the message class and message number now what you need to do you need to debug the program right you need to debug the standard the sales order program right how can you do that one thing is go to system status and find the program and keep a breakpoint at the beginning because you don't know from where it is triggering keep the breakpoint at very beginning right or you may need to go to any include program and you need to set the breakpoint so it's all confusing for you right from where you need to set the breakpoint and how to uh, navigate to i'll show you a simple method so as of now is everyone clear So now I am showing you how to troubleshoot or how to find errors and root cause of the errors in standard programs. Go back to VA02. Go back to VA02. It is still displaying the error. Go to the command prompt and type slash h. What you need to type? Slash h. What is the use of slash h? it will trigger the debugger okay slash h will trigger the debugger first we'll check so debugger is switched on right now click on enter now i executed slash h debugger is switched on now click on enter just click on enter it will trigger the debugger when you uh, use slash h it will trigger the debugger so what is the command prompt to trigger the debugger slash h slash h now go to breakpoints breakpoint at message what is the message v2 V2, right? F2, 150. F2, sir. Okay, F2. F2. Okay, F2. Okay. 153. 150. And message yes. type is E. Okay, anyway, okay, you don't remember the message type, leave it. Okay. Now, breakpoint is set. Now click on F8. It is executing. I, I click on F8. Still executing. It should take me to the exact statement where the message is rising. And I should be able to analyze the root cause of that message. So debugging is very important. Please understand. So because there are many support projects, implementation projects are very limited. So when you are in support projects, you should be able to debug the program and identify the issue. When you know the shortcuts, debugging is very easy. Okay. Now observe here. Observe here. This is the error, right? This is the error, right? E F2. Clear? When it is rising, 
it is rising in else part double click if condition somewhere it is validating here here please observe tkrjt this is the value we entered right this is the value we entered right go to statement click on go to statement the controller stopped at that message now i am just uh, trying to use go to statement so if you observe right here they are using select single statement and kna1 using the input, the value what we have entered in the transaction code if that is not valid it is raising the error message we'll just uh, repeat that now i am using go to statement to navigate to that select statement click on f5 what is the sub rc sub rc is 4 because that customer is not available in kna1 table this whatever the value i entered click on f5 it comes to the l spot and raising the error message so now what is my analysis so that i can provide the analysis that okay the the ship to party whatever you are trying to enter is not available in kna1 table that's why it is throwing the error so please fix that data issue okay sometimes there might be a code change required then you need to do the code change before uh, you need to decide before uh, deciding right whether it is a data issue or code issue we need to debug it and identify okay if there is any error in the code and you should say that okay i'm going to fix that issue there is a certain error in the code and i have to fix that issue so that you can provide your analysis by debugging it okay is everyone clear on this so debugging is very important 